Well, hello, my friends. This is Kevin, the Homemaker Husband. Once again, I want to say welcome. Welcome to each and every one of you. You are appreciated, whether you're new or whether you're one of our lifers. We really do appreciate you. This, this part of the video, anyway, is just a grocery haul. It'll probably actually be a standalone video because this is the largest grocery haul we've done just outright in quite a while. Part of the reason is, a large part of the reason actually, is because Michelle was telling me that there was a lot of sales on and she wanted to pick up some things while they were on sale. Now tonight, or tomorrow I should say, the Walmart flyer will change and some of these items that she picked up today won't be on special anymore and there may be some other things that she said she wished she would have got. But that being said, prices are going up. I know I'm not telling you anything that you don't know, right? Prices are going up and she's saying that she expects tomorrow in the next flyers, that, like for all the stores that come out, things will be going really high. Also on Sunday, I guess, because Kaylin has to work Saturday, Sunday, I guess, I'm going to take her to Costco and I'm going to do a Costco run for ourselves as well. And she can get her stuff just much easier when I take her. So there is quite a lot of stuff here. So I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to do the freezer stuff and the frozen stuff first because it's been out long enough as it is. I need to get that put away and then we'll do the rest of the dry goods. So stay tuned. Okay. Now, Michelle is going to put the prices up. And I don't really know what anything costs. A couple of things, I guess. And I might mention that. But for the most part, Michelle's just going to put the prices up on everything. I'll help her do that later here. But we're going to start here with a package of these Larson's Wieners. I know they're getting ridiculously expensive. But I do believe they might have been on sale. I'm not sure. That is the uh, 900 grams. So basically, it's not really two pounds, but there's quite a few in there. Whatever. I'm not counting them. So she also got three packages of this, like, luncheon meat for sandwiches and stuff. And four snacks and whatnot. Black Forest, cooked ham, and oven roasted turkey. So yeah. She got those. She got two bags of these McCain sweet potato fries. They are on special and they were a good price. So she got two of them. We got a bag of these country style diced hash browns, the great value brand. We eat them often. We like them. It's more of a weekend thing, but yeah, she got a bag of them. She also got a package of this Swiss cheese. We both like that. Um, but I believe that she is wanting sandwiches and just maybe a snack. So I'll put that over there. She also picked up a package of this great value bacon. It's 375 grams. Uh, two packages of this Cracker Barrel Havarti cheese. I know it's on sale. She'll put up the price. Also a package of this fully cooked bacon. You've seen us get it before. It's just real convenient if we have to do something quick or if it's on the weekend. So she got that. She picked up a package of this crispy battered Atlantic haddock. I should show it all to you there, I guess. Uh, we like this. We've had it before. So yeah, she got a package of that. And she got a box of this fillet filet of soul panko bread coated. Um, I don't know if we've had this variety before. We've, we have lots of Jane's products and they're always good. So I'm sure these will be too. Also two packages of these sausages that we like so much and they are on special this week or at least up until now and three pounds of regular ground beef and one pound of the beef and pork mixture. So that, I guess, is it for the freezer stuff. So I'll be back in a moment 
after I put this stuff away. Okay, once again, I'm gonna start at the right, work my way left. We picked up another loaf of bread. Th this bread here is just very, very tasty. I could take a piece of that bread right there and just eat it. No, no butter, no margin, nothing on it. It's, it's really good. Unfortunately, white flour and I don't get along really very well, so I have to limit the amount of bread that I eat. But it is still very good. Uh, so we got that, obviously. She picked up a package of these clementines for me. I've been wanting a little fruit in my lunch and as a quick snack. I like them. I love oranges. What gets me about oranges is they're so hit and miss. You'll buy a box of them or a bag, open one, peel one. It's delicious. The next one you go to do is just not good or it's dry or you know what I mean? So these are typically more consistent. So I like to eat that. We picked up a box of long grain rice here, the minute rice. Uh, we have very, probably not even a cup of it left, and we do like it. It's very convenient. We do have lots of this, not minute rice, but we have lots of long grain white rice stored. But we picked up this box. This is for immediate consumption, really. She got two of these. These are nice and soft, it's supposed to be, and uh, they'll be good for Michelle when she needs a... Uh, breakfast supplement or a quick snack you know she could grab one of them We've got a box of these premium plus salted top crackers saltine some people call them whatever crackers a bottle of gherkins I like these awfully well they're like one of my favorite pickles but um, getting very expensive a box of wagon wheels for snacks whatever right two more cans of this luncheon meat this is for the store but that's something that we eat kind of you know we'll eat a couple of cans of it and then won't eat any more for a couple of weeks or three weeks but i'm gonna build that back up we have used a couple of cans in the last three weeks or so so that is something that i like to have on hand so these uh Kidney beans were on sale, I know that, I guess. Four for five dollars, I will say that. So I know that right off the top of my head. So, uh, package of these diced peaches in water for me. A jar of this peanut butter that we use. It is on special, a good special, but I won't spoil it. <laughs> and Two packages of these sugar-free cookies again same thing if I don't have something baked or whatever and I need a couple of cookies in my lunch we can have these here and obviously Michelle likes them too they're just a little hard so she doesn't enjoy eating anything that's crunchy you know uh, a, a package of these small the minis fresca minis uh, for when she obviously doesn't want a large can of pop or whatever and of course, also, 20 more of the cat's food there. She loves the pate and the beef and that chicken. She really likes them, so hey, if it ain't broken, don't fix it, right? Down here, we got more bottled water, 48 bottles, I guess. A bottle of the distilled water for my CPAP machine. A case of Michelle's Pop and two more of the kitty litter that we've been using. So actually, that is it. I was successful at getting all the frozen stuff in the freezer. Stuff that needed to go in the fridge is nicely tucked away. So yeah. So that's the grocery haul for this week. As I said, uh, Sunday, I will be doing a Costco run. That will be a separate video. I'm not sure the order that these will go up or when exactly you will be seeing this one. But we're all watching, waiting with bated breath to see how this new carbon tax that we've been 
afflicted with is going to affect things. We know it's going to. Our gasoline went up 10 cents a liter last week, just boom. And this morning on my way to work, it was up another eight cents. It went up three cents the first of the week, April 1st, it went up three cents a liter, which was the projected right carbon tax, 23% of 14% works out to about three cents a liter, right? So I think it was 3.1 cents a liter. It was showing on the signs that it went up on Monday. And this morning when I went to work, it was up another eight cents a liter. So we're at a dollar eighty, dollar eighty one, depending on where you buy it. So gasoline is getting pretty expensive. Uh, food prices. Now, when we catch the sales, they had good sales today or this week, really. And uh, as I always say, I know we're extremely blessed. I've got to take this stuff. I'm going to just jam it away. I'll have to neaten it up. And it might be time to show you that when I get it all neatened up and whatnot. We shall see. There's, a, there's just a lot going on. So anyway, uh, trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to tell you, but I guess there's not much that I can tell you that you don't already know. But once again, I just want to say thank you for watching. Uh, we welcome your comments. Sometimes they're the brightest spot in our day, you know, some of the comments. Uh, and I appreciate them. And as I said, I try to respond to each and every one. And I know I miss some. And I'm sorry for that. But at any rate, once again, I just want to say, it's Kevin, the homemaker husband, saying God bless. And bye for now.